Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here. It's one of the very last days of, I guess you'd call it fall, here in Maine. Um, it's not uncommon for us to get snow right at the very beginning of November. Unfortunately, the battery-powered power wheel has finally come to an end. Um, the charger that I have built into the battery box, I'm pretty sure is either failing or the battery itself has failed. Now, with that being said, what I've decided to do is I've ordered another charger, which is lighter weight and supposedly has a faster charge time. The second part of that is I also decided to order up a lithium battery what? in order to go into this system. And we're going to be upgrading it to that, and I'll do a full how-to on the whole thing when that happens. Now, until then, Johnny here would like to be able to drive. Wouldn't you, Johnny? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... The other day we did a review on this product. It's called a Golo. This Golo is a car booster and well, it kind of couldn't do a full size vehicle. So is it going to do this vehicle? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to sit here and we're going to see if it'll at least do a power wheel. Now the problem is if you're going to do something like this is that if you have a battery booster pack that has one of these circuits in it, it actually has a timer built into it that shuts off after a certain period of time. Doesn't do you much good. Now, you could break it open and you could solder direct leads onto here, but instead, by the power invested in me by the interwebs, on Amazon, I discovered these. Now, this particular unit has power all the time and it plugs right in. So from here, we're going to add a couple of connectors and we're going to hook it right to this junction box and we're going to see whether we can Golo power a power wheel. That sounds kind of like a cool slogan. Golo powered power wheel. Okay. All right, so after undoing the connectors, getting the battery out, getting the charger out, we actually found a pretty significant amount of water in the bottom of it. And, well, judging from the drill blade, it's about a three quarters of an inch deep. So no wonder the charger may have come to a demise. So we're gonna port four holes in it, which I'm sure will definitely help on drainage. And hopefully we won't have that problem ever again. Um, the fact that I just found acorns in it, in a sealed box, I think I figured out why it is we had issues with uh, the cover not quite being on. All right, so at this point, we've ripped out everything. We put in this terminal block here, the harness that I bought off of Amazon for 10 bucks, and our nice little fully charged Golo. Now, I don't expect this to be fast. The original wasn't fast. This is not going to be fast. But, it's the end of the season. These things charge in a matter of like two hours rather than like six or eight hours to charge a lawn tractor battery. Does it make him happy? That's the question in this video. Okay, Johnny, drive her away. No, no, forward, forward, forward. So, does it work? Yes, actually, it works quite well, apparently. Johnny, you like it? Yeah. Yeah? So, the original setup would get roughly about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes or so worth of playtime. So, I'm going to see what he does here and give you a follow-up. The problem is, is the power wheel is really starting to show its age and needs some love, but we'll see. Alright, so after 22 minutes worth of less than ideal power wheel terrain, Johnny is at the point you're starting to be able to see it slowing down. 
Alright, so at this point the Golo is pushing about 25 minutes worth of power wheel usage on less than ideal terrain. Now keep in mind my power wheel does have upgraded rear tires which makes a big difference. But we're about 25 minutes in and it's still going quite well. I'm rather impressed. Apparently the trees didn't need to be there. Alright guys, well with that we're going to close out the video. Um, we're easily past the 25 minute mark at this point. Obviously the Golo run was a success, at least in the sense of it drove long enough for Johnny to have some fun. Does it drive as long as the lawn tractor battery did? Not by a long shot. Lawn tractor battery easily pulled about an hour worth of good time and about a half an hour worth of starting to die off. So, yeah, it was a fun experiment. Stay tuned, we got a lot more coming up.